good morning sir good morning sir. and good morning ma'am and our module is role management actually the motivation behind implementing this role management means in our tq module the one which we are using this software there are many roles like rcc wcc and participant admin and uh, principal delivery manager principal course course manager these many fields are there actually while coming to the normal software there will be only two users normally user and admin and uh, while coming to admin suppose when a person logins if you want to show the admin admin panel or according to that if you want to show user panel we will hard code the values like the if user uh, id is this one show admin panel if else we will show user user panel that is the normal thing which will happen in this one but in that role management which is a dynamic one we will give role man role based permission to the all the pages which are existing in the software when a person logins we will get the role id and uh, suppose if a user can extend from suppose if a participant is already attended he can be promoted to another role like assistant faculty so based on that it will be a dynamic thing that's why we implement this role management and while coming to the role management here when in the dashboard there are only five views what that is roles modules pages tags and modify axing roles while coming to the roles i want to you show the live demo and this role management has high authoritative power over all the softwares see this is our dashboard and while coming to the roles these are the current roles which are existing in our software there are 10 roles like a normal user business and all these things and if you want any new role you can add this and if you and there is we created another feature in that that you can deactivate one particular role from axing this complete software and you can make add them active this is one feature and while coming to the modules let me ask few questions over here uh, now if i have to create one role yes sir the role will be given certain rights hmm. the role is basically defined by the rights so where are the rights uh, i will come there. in the axing roles while coming to the, in the last one i will explain so you show the role they you show the rights you you show the combination of the rights and that makes the role otherwise yes, role is a label for me actually the combination means here the combination is roles and modules we have to make them combination so first i will explain roles then modules then i will explain the combination of them that is the flow actually that's okay. why i am going okay okay continue okay. these are the modules which you, the uh, they are working like attendance module certificate module course creation module all these things are they are working and in the pages for every particular module they have separate individual individual pages these are the things and like tags only for a particular tag there are individual tag, tags and this is the one which is a dynamic one axing roles this is the main part of this role management here it will show all the list of the modules which are existing in that while going into that a module particular module it will show the list of the pages in that attendance module which is autom which is a dynamic one and here going to the last one here this is the roles accessible to this module here you can delete this one or you can add any role who can access this one what do you mean by dynamic okay. suppose in that attendance module there will be a button update attendance button will be there this can be presently the participant who is attending the workshop he can only view that button that particular day suppose in the previous day he cannot modify the attendance in the previous day but while coming to the rcc who is conducting that workshop he can also visible to see in that day only that day only he cannot see the previous one while coming to the admin he has the complete privileges to access any date and anything you mean the visibility is time restricted correct role restricted uh, role based restricted so you are saying time yesterday today that is what i am saying that uh, it is a time there, restricted it is no there we used is if the time is today and the role based also sir we will okay, okay okay continue the session is expiring no no sir actually in that i am using in this incognito mode why the port number is 9000 for our tester we normally using 9000 if we can use 8000 or anything oh, that's why, not why somebody has to put a port number why should not it goes a normal http actually it is test server sir while testing we are created 9000 otherwise we can directly host in the website and with the port 80 na it's our um, just we normally we for the test server we are using 9000 while it's running the server we can put 80 also i don't know okay <laughs> okay sir i actually i logged in as participant
here when a person logins he can apply for a feedback form will be there sir in the feedback form a participant can only see the feedback form in the role based one faculty pool feedback here i am showing that the roles accessible only for normal user now i am dealing with that user now nobody can access this page now i am going to this see the page is automatically redirect to back he cannot access that page that is fine the basic questions are whether you can have add on roles can i have two roles ah yes sir see new page role i am again adding participant feedback normal user can access a new page role participant feedback page and he can also principal course delivery manager can also add no 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 you are adding the access to the pages to me right what i am saying that i have got two roles for example your remote center controller is one role with certain kind of uh, rights your participant is some uh, role having some rights now can i have two roles no no sir. No, no, but it is no. many, many times needed. So you, you mean to say that Dr. Fata cannot attend any, uh, any course given by this? It is needed many times. Sir, then no, no, no. give me the simple question. Uh -huh. Dr. Fata is the faculty. Can he, at, can he attend a course or not? Yes, sir. How? Then how? This can be solved by this role management. Sir. No, Actually, no, no, no. There should be a provision that you can have multiple roles. For example, suppose somebody is doing some job and his assistant or somebody else goes on leave, he has to give the charge to some other person for limited time. So, he should have an add-on role. Somebody is a cameraman and somebody has got some other jobs to do, but that fellow has gone out for some time, he has given his responsibility to him, so he should have the access to all the rights what he have. Sir, let so me explain. there let should me explain. be the uh, possibility of having multiple role any, in any role management system. Let me explain in this view, sir. Suppose that person has to access this cameraman. Uh, in that particular time, I will give this camera access to that person. I will you, give you, the access no, to No, 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 no. That is not allowed. You can't do that because you want to give that access only to him. Not, not for everybody, not to everybody. No other cameraman. And then I will create a new role that… Uh, not custom. possible. Well, how come your role management work that for every case you have to create one role? There should be the possibility that you can add on the role. That is but not available. Person, actually, person actually in that our test server there is so part for a particular… Uh, no, no. Abhinaya cannot uh, attend any course because she has got admin rights. Actually in the our database… Try to accept some things. There is a mandatory field which is with the good role management system that you can have add-on roles. Okay, if it is not available, say it is not available, you will develop. Okay, sir. okay don't argue unnecessarily. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Second thing, no, no. whenever you are controlling roles, you are showing me the list of pages while restricting how exactly you are doing the work, whether you are hiding the things and showing the things or you are actually controlling the access. Actually, I am controlling the things. Actually, when the no, he, is hiding, he, is hiding. he is hiding. Ah. So, hiding, Good hiding example. Ah. that is what I am saying. Hiding is not the basic trick by which people were doing it from ages, but it is not the basic technique by which the role management can be done. Whether you are using any MVC so architecture, sir, it is not hiding, sir. Actually, let me explain. Here, the thing is making inactive means I am just showing their names here. While coming to the page, before the rendering the page itself, it will check the ID with the user ID and then only it will enter the page. Otherwise, it will redirect to home page itself. You are using MVC architecture? No, no, sir. In the view, Dizango. Say it. <laughs> Do you know? So, where, whether you are controlling the view at the level of controller, <coughs> what I am saying that this is a visualization. Yes. So, in MVC architecture, if the view is being controlled at the mo uh, controller level, not allowed to pass ahead, then it is a secure way. Otherwise, hide and seek is not allowed. No, no, we are using that is the one. So, we have interceptor in between. Before the loading itself, we are changing. Then, they don't know MVC and other thing they don't know. <laughs> okay. The, the architecture was given to them, no? The design was given to them. Abhinaya? Abhinaya, you gave them the design. Yeah, we them how to do design. They code. Okay, continue. I will hand over the session to Pooja. 
the email content module basically has all the templates which uh, is used by admin and uh, sent to the users the if the users face several issues like change password edit profile and all they can you uh, the admin uses these templates and sends it to them uh, the admin can upload only the html files uh, he is not able to upload any other files the download link is there uh, he can even change the template upload upload button is there and submit the template will be automatically changed this is the download thing Uh, whether you have refer any uh, standard mailing template based uh, solutions available in the market very popular uh, i think that monkey charm or charm monkey charm monkey charm hmm? so you what what exactly you have done then you have just created a file and just push it into the smtp server and that's all so actually according like users need to do several things uh, dispatch slip forgot password and all so they just they are just sent a mail and these mail templates are over there the admin can use this this is auto reply kind of thing event 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 driven event driven, event, uh, event driven auto reply yes. okay okay while coming to my another module this is assistant faculty pooling the faculty which who has cleared an instance of a workshop who has already cleared an instance he can De uh, desire a wish to apply for a uh, assistant faculty position in that workshop actually the participant who has cleared that workshop he can be a assistant faculty he can be a monitor in that workshop that is the one he can apply for via in this interface when a person log in he can apply for this one like he will show the selection criteria there will be a selection criteria for each workshop by seeing that he can apply and while coming to the principal faculty principal faculty take this role to uh, accept or reject that particular assistant faculty based on his grades in that uh, course which he is cleared and here we are showing those grades fetching from id bombay x and based on his feedback also he can do accept or reject while if the participant has become assistant faculty he, if he approved then he can go into the assistant faculty for that workshop after the workshop is conducting we will take feedback from the participant on that particular assistant faculty based on that feedback he can remove in the future also this is the thing we done in assistant faculty page management uh, this basically consist of a file global stored data it has dictionary key value pairs like in html pages uh, we hard code the things na title and all so we don't need to do it anymore we can use this file and uh, in front of the corresponding key we can give the title and update it automatically in the html page it will get updated it is done dynamically thank you sir